The president and CEO of the Washington Tattoo, Mark Riley, and son Logan performing at the Post Theater. It was part of a presentation on using music to improve wellness and combat suicide. Hello and welcome to Midweek. I'm Brian Spann. More on Suicide Prevention Month in a moment. Also this week, Hispanic Heritage Month begins, and we'll take a look at this year's 9-11 observance. These stories plus some important reminders, but first... Installation. Attend. Right? Hey. Fort Meade's 9-11 observance began with a garrison-led Patriot Day run. The garrison was joined by teams from all of the services for the three-mile morning run. Later in the morning, the fire station hosted a brief ceremony. And so, to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow Americans, their tasks complete, their duties well done, to our fallen comrades, the last alarm, they're going home. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Yolanda Gore opened the ceremony by recognizing Fort Meade's emergency services personnel. And as I look before me, I realize that the uniform that you wear every day and the fact that I get up and I go into the office and I'm not in any danger, but you display the courage that most men and women don't because you don't know what danger that you face every day that you wake up. The ceremony concluded with the reciting of prayers for all emergency services personnel. In other news, September 15th through October 15th is National Hispanic Heritage Month. Fort Meade's observance held at Club Meade featured the Command Sergeant Major of Medical Readiness Command East. The Army is a reflection of the nation we serve, and it's throughout the diversity that we found innovation, adaptability, and strength. You all have seen graduations when Hispanic family come to cheer their soldiers, right? We come in full force. That's how we do it. <laughs> this month, let us not only celebrate Hispanic heritage, but also reflect on what it means to be part of a yet diverse fighting force. The strength of our army lies in our ability to come together as one. In other news, the Fort Meade Suicide Prevention Office is offering a series of events this month that highlight the importance of community and self-awareness. Program Manager Miguel Sierra recently sat down with our Declassified podcast team. The goal here is to uh, empower the community and the attendees with uh, tools, um, resources, and, and that sense of intentionality moving forward that will help them understand what suicide prevention looks like outside of you know just going to see a doctor or see, a, see an clinician. Turning to some traffic news, Reese Road reopened to traffic this week and while the Reese Road access control point remains closed, with the road open, drivers will have more convenient access to the youth sports facility, housing offices, school age center two, and CDC three. In a related story, we mentioned on our last show that the visitors control center is issuing proxy cards for the pedestrian turnstile gate behind Mead High. The cards enable students involved in after school activities to access the installation without having to walk down Maryland 175 or Rockenbach Road. The Directorate of Emergency Services says students should get the card by September 27th. Currently, there are police officers that man the gate after school, but that will come to an end on the 27th. We close this week with a quick reminder that the My Army Post app has been updated, and to get the latest up-to-date Fort Meade information, you must update the app. If you don't update, the app will still work, but without the latest improvements. The My Army Post app is available in the Apple Store and Google Play Store. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week. September is National Insider Threat Awareness Month, and given the current security challenges, I think this year's theme of deter, detect, and mitigate is a great choice. It reinforces key principles set in policy and encourages the community to coalesce under one message, while also creating flexibility for agencies and organizations to focus on related topics like reporting, processes, cybersecurity, or unauthorized disclosure. As the nation's premier provider of integrated security services, DCSA secures the trustworthiness of the United States government workforce with continuous vetting of insiders and the entities that employ them. 